Uh-oh, every time. We arrive somewhere and then I accidentally... While I'm in the middle of the uh, minigame. Comet rocks remind me of those spirits from Howl's Moving Castle. Bad news about Howl's Moving Castle. I've never seen it. Oh, fuck. I went too hard. Every time. Okay, so silver's difficult. <laughs> We're starting from scratch out here. Oh, God. Huh. Okay. We gotta wait for it to go way down. Like 10 o'clock. Like 10 30 o'clock. And 30 o'clock. At least it goes up fast when it's in the area. Can't say what I want to say, so Tama. You know what, Killer Cat? Say what you need to say. Say what you need to say. Don't act, I mean, don't actually for front sitting reasons, but you know. Silver ingots. Okay. Uh, sit down. This game's so damn pleasant. Howl's Moving Castle's so good, you should watch it. Cue the you should watch it, uh, Mom. <laughs> I don't know who's snoring. It's probably Mickey, honestly. Mickey, wake up. Mickey, wake up. I don't like this. Mickey, wake up. Can I improve this uh, thing yet? Mm. No, okay. All right, Oxbury. I think in Oxbury, we are going to see Bev. We might have something else we're trying to do. Uh... Woodworker's partner in a cafe, Eric Deskman. Do, 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 do. Oh, interesting. Graffiti, street art. Get out of our way, you. We're the dice boys, and when we roll, we roll hard, hard, hard. Nothing. You've never heard of the dice boys? That doesn't make any sense. We've been out here grinding and dicing for years, spreading the word, expanding the brand. I don't think you heard the name right. We're the Dice Boys. Don't get it twisted. Twisted, twisted. We've been out here on these streets, day and night, rapping, saying rhymes into the mic to make sure it chimes, breaking your neck like we in big tech. Nada. Wow, you must be out of it then. Listen, to redeem yourself from that pitiful lack of culture, culture, you can do us a solid. Here are a few copies of our new record, Warning Sacred Dog. You just need to go and deliver them to our street team members. Don't worry, it shouldn't be that long. Here, write this down so you don't forget. The dice never stops, that's why price never drops. Get out of here. Sling those records. All right. 60 records? What? This is our town. 60 records. What the fuck? Just a couple. It's been zero days since D20 reference. In fact, I have not made a D20 reference, but I will find a way to here in just a second. It was hot yesterday and it was hot today. Skin's crawling with sweat. I know what's going on. You know they're able to control the weather. You know what they can't control? Me. I think I'll go take a bath. My brother's tripping out inside our apartment. I need to find a milk or something. This is some wild stuff. Tripping out? Beautiful day. 
Maybe I'll stay out all night and day. It has nothing to do with me losing my apartment. I just like living on the streets. Not living on the streets, per se. Spending time on the streets. This city. What a place. Oh. Have you seen this man? Oh, gosh. I forgot the picture at home. He has hair. He's got a round face. His eyes are green. No, wait. Brown? I don't know. I would have told you to call me if you found him, but without his picture, it's near impossible. I won't find my brother anytime soon with that attitude. Don't come close to me. I have a rare disease where I hate when people oh. talk to me. I myself love talking. I sometimes make up words like Burkani, Watasito, Frog Frog. I have a wild imagination, and you can't stop me. <laughs> I love the char the little like characters you encounter on the street in this game are so funny. Yes, and random NPC dialogue in this game is so strong. So strong. Frog, frog. I have a similar disease where I hate when people talk to me. I don't know what that noise was. One second, sorry. Uh, <clears throat> Watasito, frog, frog. All right, let's go up. We're looking for Eric. Oh, that's a spirit. Can you give me a hand, neighbor? I seem to have lost my keys again. They can't be that far. If I don't find them quickly, my ice cream will melt. Then we'll have quite the mess. Oh, where are those keys? Look at you. You're not even helping. Well, you did listen to me ramble on. That's something, sweet pea. You look like you've seen a ghost. Are you okay? That's too bad. I really wanted to take care of you. That's what neighbors are for, are for dear. I'd invite you inside, but no keys means no couch. The couch is so comfortable. The pillows are perfectly lived in. More like stepped on, really. I remember Henry and Sarah jumping up and down on that thing. Once at our old house, Henry fell and hit his head on that glass table. He was screaming at the top of his lungs. There was blood everywhere. On the drive to the hospital, he asked if he was going to die. I couldn't help it. I just started laughing. No pumpkin. It's going to be fine. I wish I still lived in that house. I had to sell it when David passed away. This is a new spirit, by the way. New spirit alert. New spirit alert. Plus, the kids were all living out of town by then. It was too big for little old me. And that lawn. I didn't want to break a sweat every Sunday afternoon mowing the grass, you and me both. The house. Did you know we had it designed by a professional architect? who was quite the sharp dresser. Always dressed in black with a slick-looking mustache. I had a bit of a friendly crush on him. I know, I know. I'm sure if I ran into him, he wouldn't even, wouldn't even recognize me. Or maybe he would. He did mention he had a photographic memory. You know what? Maybe I should ring him up. Say something like, Dear Anthony, I would very much like to have the original plans for my old house and also to take you out for a date. I'd like to have a copy. Could I come over and pick them up? Wait a minute. Even better, you should go see him. See if he's still as gorgeous as in my dreams. If you come back with bad news, that'll save me a trip. Go to Hummingbird. I don't know the address. I lost my purse and my address book and my mother's br Homie, Neville Longbottom, is that you? Do you lose everything you own? What animal is that? I can't tell. A rhetorical question. Oh, I don't want to think about it. That brooch was all she talked about. Don't just stay there. Go ask around in Hummingbird. Okay. New neighbor. New neighbor alert for sure. Get a goat, then you'll never need to mow. I've heard that. I think the problem with goats is that not only do you not need to mow, but you also can't grow anything if, you, if you've got a goat. They'll eat everything. Get you out of house and home. Hi, Shadow Link. Oh my god. This is such a good description of Tunic, and also of me. <laughs> oh, Shadow Link, that's genius. I'm so, I, I hope you're enjoying it. I, uh, I know that, uh, watching Ryan lose his mind a little bit is maybe not, uh, always the, uh, the most enjoyable thing in the entire world. Okay, well, I've made it on the roof. Now what? Watching Ryan uh, lose his mind and not being able to tell him why he's losing his mind or help in any way, shape, or form is probably not the most enjoyable thing in the world, is what I should say. 
My mom wants a, uh, a pet goat. Can't get to that. Did I just jump off? Nothing over here. Shit. <gasps> There's one. What a game. What a game, Tunic is. What a game. All right, let's talk to this person. Do you like lemonade? Of course you do. It's sweet, refreshing, and healthy. It's also freshly squeezed. Pure lemons, pure lemonade goodness. That brings me to my proposition. Oh my god. Speaking of freshly squeezed stuff, chat, have you ever made your own sparkling, uh, like, like sparkling water, like, with juice? Megan has been, oh my god, now it's making me really want some. I might go downstairs and get some here in a second. Megan has been freshly squeezing juice, uh, and then we've been carbonating our own water and making... It's so good. I love Spindrift. Don't get me wrong. It's my favorite. Sparkling water. But Megan made grapefruit sparkling water the other day. Oh, my. I mean, all it is is grapefruit. Squeezed grapefruit, but. Hashtag ad, uh, if only. Are you interested in a summer job of sorts? Hear me out. For this business to thrive, we need more lemons. Demand in this city is too high. Delivery man at South Point Docks, he's got my shipment of lemons. So fresh. You could hear the freshness from here. Problem is, it's been stopped by customs. Go there, be a lifesaver, and get them for me. Hurry. I love lemons so much. Have you heard the very good word? It's spectacular. That's the word. <laughs> No, okay, Bell. Shame on you. Here's the deal: Spindrift's not for everybody, and also some of the flavors are, flavors are a little wacky your first time having them. Raspberry lime is not necessarily a beginner Spindrift flavor. Not necessarily. On my way to a happier day. Hi there. Could this take any longer? No, that's just impossible. I refuse to believe that it's actually bad. I, I just think either K-Bell is wrong or K-Bell picked the wrong flavor to start with. <clears throat> I'm going to find something else to blame here. I'll try a different flavor. Don't feel like you need to. That's not... <laughs> K-Bell, we see eye to eye on so much. If we don't see eye to eye on Spindrift, that's okay. <laughs> you know, like we're not going to get there on everything, right? Most things I feel like we're already there on. It doesn't have to be that as well. I just looked down and I read Siege's message right after Laria's subscription, and I thought it said Spindrift just subscribed, and I was like, oh God, be on your best behavior, chat. <laughs> Spindrift is here. <laughs> Laria, thank you for the sub. Thank you very much. How you doing? How are you? Uh. Thank you so much for the sub, Laria. Seven months already. Holy cow. There's advanced flavors. I would say some of the more advanced flavors are like your raspberry limes. Some of your, uh, some of the like more complete, like two flavors at once. I think they're like, it also depends on if like you're a tea person. Like they've got like, uh, They've got some tea ones that I think are really good for people who like tea, which I'm not a huge tea fan, but I still like their tea flavors. Don't get me wrong. Um, but yeah, just went to the apartment up there. I met this woman in a bar this afternoon. I got dressed up, put on aftershave, took a taxi back to her place, kissed right there outside. There were pictures of her husband's and her kids on the walls. I don't know if we'll ever see each other again. He asked for my number. I don't even know her name. What's wrong with her? with being the other man. What's wrong with second place? I need a minute here. I'm a tea person. You might try one of their like half tea lemonade or like, uh, they, yeah, they got some flavors that are, are definitely more tea. Uh, sounds good, Laria. Um, sparkling water tastes too much like TV static. I don't like it. Sure, but TV static with fruit injected. Llamas doesn't like carbonated beverages. Neither does Evo. Sorry, they're hit or miss for Evo. I had a cheese flavored soda once. I don't recommend. Buster, I didn't, I wouldn't need to have the cheese flavored soda to recommend not having the cheese flavored soda. Buster, you, 
there are some things you don't have to try to know to to recommend to key for oxbury it opens every door in oxbury Mulberry, wheat. I'm gonna buy this key. I'm doing it. Lightning in a bottle. I'll sell a couple. A lightning in a bottle. I can also sell like. Oh, the thing is, I need some of these. I think. I'll hold on as long as possible. Every door in Oxbury is now open to me? Ooh. Leave me alone, I'm busy. The fury of love. Ah. The fury of love, the fuck? Look at all these trees. I'll be picking up some wood. Is this an ash tree? Oh, you better fucking believe we're chopping this shit down. Right in the middle of town, we're chopping down a tree. Uh, Tohazim, I just saw your question. Any plans to uh, play Dark Souls games uh, and or would it be Demon Souls? Uh, no plans, but lots of desire. And uh, what are you doing with my house? Leave, please. Uh, fine. And I don't know if I would play Demon Souls next uh, or go straight to Dark Souls 1. I'm kind of tempted to go straight to Dark Souls 1, honestly. I thought I would do Demon Souls but originally, but maybe not. We're just staying out all night, chat. I'm going to buy some corn for dessert. I'm feeling out of control. I'm waiting for a signal. The ability to bounce costs two. Okay, bounce. I'm going to write that down. Bounce is currently... Chat, front seat question. We're in o yeah, yeah, yeah. Oxburg. Okay. Bounce. Two... Oxburg. Now I can remember where to do it. Has anyone seen the goldfish play Elden Ring? Is this, uh, was Doug Doug, was it Doug Doug who did that? I saw something about this. I obviously haven't watched it because I don't want to spoil Elden Ring for myself, but. Was it Doug Doug who uh, made his fish, goldfish? Uh, before that happened, or was it Point Crow? Um, Michael Reeves made his goldfish trade stocks on the stock exchange. So give love to the original goldfish trader, goldfish trainer, Michael Reeves. It was Point Crow, gotcha. No plans, but lots of desire. Sounds like an average Friday night. My roommate is a weird duck. I can hear him quacking in his room. I hope he's not planning on biting me. Oh, he's not quacking. <laughs> what the hell? Am I in a secret dimension here? You see this? the literal middle of the fucking night. I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> I'm still tentative about Elden Ring. <laughs> I, uh... One of those games I won't play until Ryan makes it look fun and then I'll want to play it. That's, that's a great compliment. Thank you. I think it's a compliment. I, uh... It reads like a compliment. Make collectible card. <gasps> Little Nick cards? They have little Nick cards inside of uh, Spirit Fair. Oh. Audrey, the plumber's here. Wait a second. You don't have a mustache. You're not the plumber. Out. That's crazy. I can't wait to get to Elden Ring. There's not enough fucking time in the day, you guys. There's not enough time in the goddamn... I'm so stressed. I am stressed by the lack of amount of time in the day. Anyone else? Just me? There's not enough time. Where do people get the time to do things? 
I feel like all I do is do stuff, and still, there's no time. And it's not about to get better. Unfortunately, I don't think it's going to get better anytime soon. I know. Wait till you have a baby. I just lost the game. Oh. Am I procrastinating other things? Yeah, I've already gotten this one. Yeah, we're doing every single door here. We were also supposed to fucking find somebody here, and I haven't seen him yet. Was this door really worth it? I can't talk right now. Oh, wow, I'm talking. I'm so spaced out. Leave me alone, please. Was this key really worth it, I should say? Coincrest Goldfish also played Mario Party and bought things online. What kind of thing did your did the goldfish? Wait, hey, wait until uh, 2025. I'm gonna be training Kingsley to buy things online, play video games. Rent here is too much. I wish I could afford a bigger apartment and fewer rats. I like watching people walk outside. I think to myself as a peeping. No, wait, that sounds bad. I mean, I like to watch people move. That sounds even worse. Yeah, that does sound not great. I spent all night out in this city. Can I unlock this door? I can't wait to hear what Anthony has been up to. I unlocked your door for you, you little turd. Okay, chat, front seat question. What is that sound that I am hearing? It's like a little whir, whir. I'm not doing the noise very well. There. There. Did you hear that? Is that an important sound or is that completely nothing at all? I'm losing my mind a little bit. It's probably related to an animation. That. Just ambiance? I'm losing my mind is the answer. Landlord keeps telling me I don't need to pay rent. What is he up to? What the hell? No rent? Finish your drama. Hit your time. Not an important sound. Tinnitus. Just did it twice right there. I kept... I thought I was hearing it in the same spot. And so I was like... I'm hearing something. Okay, I'm in Oxbury, woodworker's partner in a cafe. Okay. Can I not talk to the people in the cafe? This is that person. That's like a grocery store. This is a cafe. You? Hello there, will you be having something? You're looking for someone, a famous woodworker. I'm talking about my boyfriend, my ex-boyfriend. I kicked him out of my house. Call it a disagreement. We haven't talked in a while. Not sure where he could be. Probably hanging around in a park somewhere. Amber Town Park. Perfect. Nailed it. Check for cameras in your flat if you're not being told to pay rent. Oh, God. Yeah, the door does that, but it does not, uh, the sound is different. I think it's just ambiance. But man, I really thought it was something. <laughs> okay, uh, it's sleepy time. We'll set out in the morning. I love this game. Anyways, I don't know how people ever get anything done. 
I don't, I don't know how people ever get as much as they would like to done. You know? Do people just back off of what they are hoping to get done? Is that how they get what they... Right? Like, I want to get X amount of things done. Is the solution do more or is it want to do less? Maybe it's want to do less. Maybe that's the goal. Maybe that's the idea. Time management, I guess. Okay, we're going to do this so that we can go put some stuff on a turtle. Letter from Albert. I had the pleasure of meeting your uncle, Atul. Quite the fella. He gave me a few tips for the yard. Thought I'd return the favor. My boys found this in our docks. Might be something useful out there. Tell your uncle I said hi. Uh, it's a treasure map for a, lo a lost bounty. Okay. 85, 165. For me, it's 100% set smaller goals. I have a feeling for me, it is also set smaller goals. <laughs> I got a big old feeling for me, it's set smaller goals. I only work part time. I still feel like I don't have enough time. But also, like, it's tough, right? Because I don't think, like, if I zoom out at all, I don't think my goal is to do more. I think my goal is to enjoy more. And yet still I just find myself wanting to do more. And I know it's not, like, quite that simple, but, like... I think it might be a little bit that simple. I don't know. It also comes down to like, why do I want to do the things I want to do? Each of them is some mixture or some combination or some, or some variation of like, I want to do the thing I want to do because I think it's the thing I want to do because it's something I actually want to do or would bring me enjoyment because it's something that provides for me. My family. I don't know. I'm in full-on ramble mode right now. Can you tell? All right. We're going to plant... Uh, all of these are going to be other things now. For me, I have too many hobbies. How am I going to read books, watch, stream, play games, and work with only 24 hours in a day? I know, right? I've had one problem since I was, like, 18. When I was like, uh, probably 19. When I was 19, I started telling, I started saying, or like thinking of myself, I guess, as a writer, reader, and runner. And I found out that like, and, and I had the hypothesis, if I've done all three of those things in a day, it's been a really good day. And then I quickly realized, I was like, it's insane to try and do all three of these things every day. <laughs> and yet here I am. 12 years later, still trying to do all three of those. We'll do one ash, and I think we're going to do two zinc. Because I think zinc is going to be the harder one to find. That's my guess. Are you all done there? See you later. See ya. All right, uh, that's done. So let's go back into the, let's go back to Alex real quick. We've invested for the future a little bit. And now we'll go back to uh, exploring our new area. That's all been planted. Um, you got planks for me, are they ash? Ash plank, cool. Uh, fantastic. For me, it's a spoons issue. Recently, I haven't had the energy to do basic tasks, let alone extra stuff. Yeah. That's the other half of it, Julia, is that, like, for me, uh, related to that, 
it's like uh if <laughs> I can want to do as much or as little as I want to do, but then the question that precedes all of that is will my anxiety and or depression and or mental health allow me to do those things? Oh my god, bus stop. Can I go here? And if the answer is no, then I can want in one hand and take a shit in the other one, and the other one's, I'll tell you which hand's gonna fill up fast and faster. Doesn't matter what I wanna do at that point, because I'm gonna do the survival game where I lay in bed or vegetate or etc. And that's all right, that's actually good. Amberton Park, Ambertown Park. I plan out my entire week to figure out a schedule so I can make sure I get all my work done and still have time to enjoy other things. Do you enjoy the planning, Evo, or do you feel like it's a necessity? No, this is a no judgment question. Uh, truly curious, because sometimes I enjoy the planning and sometimes I feel like it is a uh, necessity. Um, Alice, this is all done, of course. Summers is all done, of course. Boundary, good. The tools, we still need that one. <clears throat> Comet powder. And ash plank. I bet comet powder comes from a crusher, if I had to guess. Um, Gwyn's is done. Gustav's, I am missing blueprints. Astrid, I still need ash planks. Ash, zinc, cool. Aluminum, okay, I can cross. Sorry, I'm double checking my written list because some of this is a little wrong. Double checking my written list. Uh. we upgrade the uh, guest house already? I think we did. Fire glow and linen thread. Yes. Okay. Cool. Cool. New area to explore. Mm -mm -mm. Sorry, llamas. I missed your comment. Hold up. I think of it like weightlifting. If you struggle severely with a certain amount of pounds, you don't just keep pushing yourself that hard because that's how you hurt yourself. You scale back, build more muscle, then push yourself once the lighter weights become more manageable. Ooh. I'll take your word for it because I know diddly shit about weightlifting. <laughs> I know so much about running and I know truly so little about lifting. If you'd have asked me, llamas, I might have been like, yeah, just continue struggling severely with the same amount of pounds or add more. You'll figure it out eventually. <laughs> It should be right over there in the park. Grow in the corner. You can't miss them. They're gorgeous, Pimpina. Gardener here takes really good care of the flowers. That's good for us. What? What do you mean we shouldn't? Mm -hmm. Vandalism? What do you mean, vandalism? Right above the graffiti, by the way. Bambina! What are you talking about? Roses exist so they can be picked up and offered to mesmerizing princesses. Mm -hmm. Don't you think she deserves it? Don't you? Look at... Like, do you think Giovanni's uh, neck hurts with that with that pose? My neck hurts doing it. I think I just pulled something. I just feels like that hurts. Don't you? Okay, enough with this nonsense. Go in that park and pick up the roses. We only need enough for a romantic bouquet. You could be as delicate as you want while well, picking them up. All right, go now. Go. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so that's how you get into the park. Or here. Rose is there. There's stuff outside. A tool! I'm supposed to meet a date today. This is the first time we've met in real life. I've been stressing about it for days now. Couldn't wait in my apartment anymore. I got a few hours before the date actually starts. I hope this his tastes align with mine. Here's the deal. Let me practice on you. I'll start with some small talk. 
something casual, something funny, something out of the ordinary, like, do you like fries? No, that's boring. Of course he'll say yes. Let me think. Ooh, we got a little bounce onto a thingy there. Interesting. The mix. I enjoy planning things. Uh, but at the same time, I, d I know if I don't have a schedule, I'll be anxious and constantly breaking out in stress hives all week. Gotcha. Came here to clear my head and my throat. Had this pretty bad cold for the past couple weeks. It's not looking better. I shouldn't talk, come to think of it. Let's not talk anymore. We're just going to cut down trees in this park. I love it. I love it so much. Meg needs to be careful. His spirit is flirting with Ryan. How about these boat? These, uh... These things. Hey, you. What's up? These trees are my life. They're living things. They have lives, dreams, aspirations. You can't cut them down. I'll make sure you pay for this. You murderer. <gasps> Combat. Combat music starts. Pop, pop, pop. What's the punch button? Is it this one? Nope. Why are you doing this? Don't you have respect for all things living? I'll show you my respect for all things living. I need the ash. Don't look, chat. No, why are you doing this? If there's one more, I'll leave the next one that I find. Unless... My daughter had her birthday party here last year. I wasn't invited. We don't get along. For years now, her mother told me about it. I stood in my car, watching, listening to them laugh. It was a nice party. Aw, that was so sad. I'm going to leave the rest of the trees because I feel terrible. No, I'm not doing anything. I'm just... Oh, wait. I don't know you. What is it? A woodworker, you say? Yes, of course. You were looking for me. I'm just taking a stroll, enjoying nature, refueling my creative batteries, so to speak. You were looking for my genius, I presume. What is it you need? A working desk? I could do that. This is your chance. Don't mess it up. Just breathe. My creative batteries are full, sure. All this nature and this walking and uh, contemplating. It depleted my physical batteries. <laughs> Oh, ain't that relatable. I go for a long run, which makes my brain feel good and my body feel tired. And then just when my brain is ready to tackle a task, my body needs sleep. Ain't that relatable. I need some food. I need you to bring me an exquisite surfing turf. What if she thinks I'm not worth it? Why did I pick such an expensive meal? Should I change my mind? No, no, too late now. I'm so sick of eating blueberries. Bring me a surfing torf or anything else, please. I'm starving. Okay. I can do that. Blueberries. Listen, I'm leaving the rest of the trees, guys. Sounds good, Carly. Carly's lurking. They just keep following me. Beautiful. That's perfect, Bambina. What a nice bouquet. Your thumb is as green as your hat, as someone once said. No one cared. No one noticed. This person over here really noticed. It wasn't necessary to make such a big deal out of it, was it? Now, if you could just give them to me, I'll take great care of them. Thank you so much, Peanut. I'll hold on to the bouquet. Let's head back to the boat. First off, let me give you a little bit of food. Uh, Take a... I have 41 cherries. I have so many cherries. I love how they follow you around just to yell at you. They, it worked. I feel guilty. It worked. Hi, AJ. Uh, uh, hi, RJ. I almost said AJ. Hi, RJ. All right. We got to make surf and turf. Also, somebody wants to chat. Uh, we should look at the recipes. Surf and turf. I barely know what surf and turf is. Is it, am I correct in thinking, yeah, yeah, yeah. From the ocean and from the land, earth and ocean. 
better than mud and foam. A crustacean and beef. Okay. Dumb question. Aha, snow crab is a cr is a crustacean. Okay. I was going to be like, what exactly? Which of these is a crustacean? I'm so good at cooking. Steak and shrimp. Uh, surf and turf is steak and shrimp. Is it always steak and shrimp or is it other things too? Hello. Thanks a lot, Bambina. I definitely have enough to prepare a little surprise. My beloved, it's going to jump for joy. Thanks so much. You're a killer, you know that? All I have to do is wait for the right time, put on the right cologne, and voila. This is going to be wonderful. But this reminds me, I have this shiny thing. I should have given it to you earlier. I was lost in my thoughts. Is it an obel? Take it, you deserve it. And I don't have the slightest clue what it does. That's cute. Or lobster or scallops. Munchkin. Something's wrong. I can feel it in my bones. Listen, just to make sure, you check around the boat for my husband, especially at night? <gasps> Giovanni. <gasps> this bitch. This turd, sorry. I don't really like using that word. This turd. Where? This rat bastard. Where are you, Giovanni? It's sleeping time now, so I don't know that you're actually moving around. Over here, over here, over here. I figured it out. Locked behind this door. Why are you back here? Huh. <laughs> I can I just say I love this game. It's such a good mix of sort of some rote chory tasks, some really lovely like moments on really serious topics, and like just a good opportunity for us to chat about stuff. It's a really good mix. It's a great stream game. Great stream game. <gasps> Please don't be burnt. Okay, it's not burnt. Like. Great mix. Great mix of things. Are you hungry? Uh, you like refined meals. That's right. Okay. That's fine. Too late. Uh, ask to... Oh, we should ring the bell. Ring that bell. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe. Actually, people tell me that uh, YouTube has been doing this thing where the subscribe button um, on YouTube will like sort of light up when a person says, don't forget to subscribe or like and subscribe. Let me know if it did it when I said that. And also don't forget to subscribe. <clears throat> what did Giovanni do this time? I don't know, but he's doing something at night. Mm -hmm. Where was he? Where was that dirt bag last night? He clearly didn't sleep in his mm -hmm. bed. Stella, this is exactly as I feared. I knew it was not only in my imagination. Something was wrong. Also a letter came for him. I didn't want to open it here. You read it, please go. Investigate him for me. Follow him around. Thank you so much, Stella. Jennifer? That fucking dirtbag. Oh, my God. That fucking rat bastard. Jennifer? To Giovanni. Giovanni, my dear, I lust for your roar. Every day without you is torture. Meet me at twilight. I will be waiting for you at my house in Oxbury. Your one and only, Jennifer, with a Y. Not Jennifer. Oh, sevens to anyone watching this name Jennifer with a Y. <clears throat> that rat bastard. All right. Um, let's go to uh, town. The the park. I need to give the meal. Surf and turf. Jennifer. Huh. 
Still over here, my friend? Oh. Surf and turf. Oh. And now for your little submission. I have very good ideas. Fantastic ideas. We still haven't discussed my fee. This is absolutely non-negotiable. I'll need 450,000 glims, and that's the friend's price. For an artist of my talent, it would be blasphemous to ask anything oh. else. And then we'll be close again? And you'll see just how well I can do on my own? And you'll know I'm not just a lazy slob and you'll fall in love with me all over again? I can't believe my plan is going so well unless... And one last thing. I have a strict rule against mixing my professional and romantic life. So under no circumstances should you tell my partner in Oxbury about our dealings. You understand? No. Circumstances. I'm gonna do it. I love this. That's such a funny way to phrase uh, phrase the quest. Either it's a, the the quest says, "Pay fifty thousand four hundred and fifty thousand glims," and then in all caps, "Do not tell." And so you're like, "Well, I can't pay four hundred and fifty. Can I ask a front seat question? Does anyone know if it is possible to actually pay four hundred and fifty thousand glims to Eric Deskman? Has anyone ever tried it? We're snitching on so many people. It is possible. What happens if you pay 450,000 glooms? <laughs> immediately I saw it and I was like, someone has tried this for goddamn sure. Bovine license? No, I sold mine. Why did I sell mine? <laughs> you really want to know? Uh... Oh, I mean, my reading of this is absolutely, you tell the partner, the partner is gonna be like, that turd would do it for a hundred glims, and then you can, and then you have some bargaining advice. I would love to know. Uh, I would love for it to be a, uh, for it to be like a funny Steam achievement to actually pay Eric Deckman or whatever. Sounds good, RJ. We got tons of wheat. We're gonna grow some more real quick. I feel like this part of the game is going really fast right now. Oh my god, lavas. We're uh, we're cruising, getting stuff done. Need to make sure we're getting enough zinc, silver, and ash. Then we need to figure out probably more comet powder stuff. We need to do the the, the thing with the. Uh, need to find a way to get. Uh, what is it? Silica powder and like pulsar thingies are the two things I'm curious about right now. Jennifer? All right. Take me away. Take me away. Back to Oxbury. Um, we'll do a little bit of foundry stuff real quick while we're waiting. So I think I should do more uh, silver. And then I need to check on the... Uh, I need to check on the turtle at some point to make sure we have a... Oh, fuck. Every time. Wait until 10! So sad I don't have that absolute bonkers cat jam emote anymore. Like if sub to that channel expired, aw. <laughs> I remember that emote. Done. Nope, not done. Shit. Hair's done. 
It was. I did find a YouTube video of paying the amount. It costs you 450k. Do you get a Steam achievement? Would it be rude or genius to make that a Steam achievement? I feel like it would be genius. I can't believe Giovanni asked for all of those things to not give it to Astrid. Do you think Giovanni is actually going to go give all of this stuff to Jennifer? Or... Do you think... that Astrid is still suspicious, but shouldn't be because Giovanni is actually being true. Oh God. Giovanni, you rat bastard. There was that noise, by the way. Somewhere over here. Uh, now, where was that person who's a uh, partner? I don't remember. We'll just go straight to Giovanni. We'll do the other one later. Oh, no. It was here. You. Found him yet? What? How much? 450,000 clips? Seriously, what a hack. That's way above what he normally charges. Where did he even get that number? Oh, my God. I understand. The apartment next to mine is currently on the market. Asking price. 450,000 glims, non-negotiable. Very subtle, man. Also creepy. You know what? I can't let him fend for himself. He's so helpless. It's only been three days. He's already started conning innocent bystanders. <laughs> Besides, I was already planning on letting him move back in. You just called him creepy, and now your solution is come on back. I just wanted to teach him a lesson. Tell him he can come back, okay? Make sure he understands from now on he has to do some chores. This relationship is making me so concerned. Your problem with him is that he didn't do chores and you're not his mom. I get it. That's a very valid complaint. You move out and go, and he moves out and you go completely on the brakes. He does a creepy thing like offering, like trying to buy the apartment next to yours. You know it's creepy, call it creepy, and then say, I'll take him back. I was always gonna let him back. Seems like a not great way to handle the conflict in your relationship. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but. I knew it smelled like poop in here. Yo, I knew it smelled like poop in here. Hi, senior lady. Thank you so much for the raid. How's it going? That scared the crap out of me. Hi, raiders. Welcome in. Hello, hello. My name's Ryan. Welcome to stream. We are playing some Spirit Fairer. Uh, how was your stream? Howdy, howdy. How's it going? Uh, played some uh, Hogwarts Legacy today. I love it. Uh, if you're on my end of things and you would like to uh, follow Senior Lady, there is a link in the chat that you can uh, use to, excuse me, use to do that. Hi, thank you for the follow, uh, Pega Bros. Uh, how was your stream? Welcome in. Hi, Pug Love. How was it? Pug Love and your emotes, incredible. So fun. Hi, Baden Tobins. Hi, Hackway. Revelio. Oh, wow. Revelio. Wow, I love that. Hi, Raiders. Welcome in. Uh, my name's Ryan. We're playing Spirit Fair. We're relatively far into Spirit Fair. Not relatively far. We're a good chunk of the way into Spirit Fair. Um, so, uh, if you want to avoid any Spirit Fair spoilers, if you're hoping to play the game yourself, um, you may be aware of that. But, uh, but yeah, welcome in. Hope you had a great stream. Got a boogie? See ya. Thanks for being here. Thanks for the raid. We're popping in. Uh, we're following Giovanni, this little oh, turd. No. Where'd you go, Giovanni? Oh, you're upstairs, huh? Indiscreet meeting? Should I talk to him? I kind of want to talk to him. Hmm. Uh, I actually already did it. Let's do it. Leave us alone. We'll be getting busy soon. <gasps> Jennifer! I can't talk to him right now. Can I give him a hug? Let's do it, just for the absolute insanity of it. Giovanni, in the middle of cheating on Astrid, I'm gonna walk in, give Giovanni a hug, and walk out. You little 
turd. You little shit. Give me your mother. Giovanni. Give him the talk. Giovanni, sit down. We gotta have a talk. How far into uh, Hogwarts Legacy did you get today? Uh, senior lady? Uh, too dark to navigate, so we'll just uh, go ahead and sleep and see what's going on in the morning. <clears throat> Poor Astrid. Poor Astrid. I can't wait to see how this goes. Astrid, I'll kill him if you need me to. Technically, I think he might already be dead. But I'll do it. Sorry, guys. I have cookie crumbs at the bottom of my cookie package. One second. I got to try and get them without spilling them all on me. I spilled a couple on me. <clears throat> Oh, it was only like two. It actually worked out pretty well. Kill him again for good measure. I love that idea. All right, everybody wake up. Wake me up inside. Wake me up inside. Let's go over here. And while we're on the way... Where's Astrid at? Enough. Mm -hmm. I've had enough. I thought I was stronger than that, but obviously I was wrong. I can't tolerate mm -hmm. that any longer. He's driving me up the walls, following me everywhere. He talks mm -hmm. and talks and talks, and I know he lies all the time. Everything he says is a blatant mm -hmm. lie. What did you find out there? Was he cheating on me? Tell me. Yeah, mm -hmm. I knew it. I knew it. Thank you for telling me the truth, mm -hmm. Munchkin. Oh no, we're gonna have Alex's music in the background of this emotional scene. I knew I could count on you. It warms my heart to know I can trust in someone. Now, please, mm -hmm. you know what to do. I don't want to see his face anymore. He's out. Out of my house. Out of my hair. Retrograde is the name of it. Hey, Giovanni, you little shit. You tired? You tired? From your late night in Oxbury? Mm -hmm. I, oh, I don't get it. Things were going so well. I don't deserve to be treated this way. You're Astrid. She's got such an ill temper. Mm -hmm. What will I do now? I'll go, I suppose. But where? Over there, by a tools workshop? Nope, too chilly. Up to Alice's cottage, maybe? Nah, no, that won't cut it. All right, I'll think about it. See you around, Bambina. You'll go? I thought you were gonna get the fuck off this shit, motherfucker. Over there? Uh-uh. Go six feet under. Oh, Alex, never change. Uh, let's go here. Oh, are those two separate things? They kind of look like separate things. <clears throat> A word? Uh, I think that's just about you being hungry. <laughs> no, I, I know, I get it. <laughs> All right, let's go back to Ambertown Park. Tell this motherfucker uh, he's uh, he's not going to get paid 450,000 clips. Go from there. <laughs> 